spending a week in a small conservative Turkish village when you are 19 is it a good idea? Of course it is, and I tested it deeply. But there are some disadvantages, of course, of living here. So I will share with you today how it is to spend a week in absolutely beautiful place, far away from the modern world. If you are new to the channel, my name is Timothy. I'm Nathan, currently an expat in Amsterdam, studying business administration. I'm working in a startup. Also, I'm keen on entrepreneurship and web free. Right now, strongly developing in product management. Usually, I'm hanging around Europe and Middle East with my girlfriend. Here, I share my thoughts and adventures. Welcome in another episode of Turkish series. Today, there is another day in our small village of Eskel. Behind me, the Marmara Sea, very rave today, a lot of huge waves, and we are heading the breakfast. The village is simple, this is the main road, right there, and the uh, boulevard, we can name it maybe boulevard, this way, and this is, this is the end. And this way is the only bus stop in this village. That is the place where we were eating the breakfast yesterday. Hopefully it's today also. At the background you can see the Atatürk photo and that's interesting that his fame is that big that almost every restaurant or public place have uh, his portrait. Have our breakfast, the toast. Maybe scramble eggs with the sausage, I don't know. Peanut butter, mm -hmm. peanut butter, yes, and cucumber. There's a truck with the garlic, so it's, I think, a couple of hundreds of kilograms of pure garlic, Turkish garlic, from the local farmer. And the guy wants to sell all of this garlic. For now, our stay in Eskel is just a wonderful experience. Like, I've never been abroad to such a small village, so that's, that's super nice. But there are some disadvantages, of course, of living here. We are forced to choose from, I don't, I think, like five restaurants, but the, the good ones I like too. Second big problem we are facing every day is the lack of English communication, but this view and this Marmara Sea, just amazing. Highly recommend you to see and experience. We can name it as a pier here in Eskel. Some fishermen, this is a small harbor for ships of fishermen and just people are resting and enjoying the life after the whole day of not really hard work to be honest. Only on these few frames you can see how beautiful the Turkey can be. Especially the nature, water, the sea. Those are the highlights of the country. Right now in Turkey is a uh, soaring inflation. So as you can see last year, maybe last season, it was 30 lira per this dish. And now it's 60. So prices are just skyrocketing for what is a uh, bad luck for Turkish people. For European people who earn Euro or other strong currency, it's not a big problem. Everything is still very cheap. Hello, another day. Today many, many people are walking through our small village and we were wondering what is happening and today is Wednesday and it turned out it means a market day. When we arrived here we were shocked about how it's tough to get fresh vegetables and fruits here but it seems that people make the vegetable and the fruit shopping once a week 
on this market. So for example, cucumbers, garlic, some fresh oil, freshly squeezed, onion, hazelnuts and walnuts. And here is the freezer van with some cheese. The market day is the best opportunity to get some local vibe. In Turkey it means that you can see a lot of women in conservative clothing. They are just making some weekly shopping. But through the whole week they are, they are not so visible on the streets. This is one of the bars, I think 20 meters from our hotel and it looks kind of disgusting uh, at the first glance. It serves very very good traditional food and with affordable price. But for example these plants made from plastic and shells or this whole bar can be really really concerning and uh, like the hygiene quality right there. For example, dishes are waiting just on the table. There are plenty of flies. And of course, the Atatürk portrait on the wall. And here is a just a private, private yard, backyard. And this is traditional lentil soup. For me are those beautiful aubergines, being with all kinds of hot pepper you can find in Turkey, so wonderfully. And this is a pilau. So, as I know, it is the special way of preparing the, the rice with seeds or some herbs. And the main idea of creating this uh, rice is to avoid adhesing the, the seeds. In small restaurants, you can try local cuisine. Usually, meals are made from seasonal vegetables and local ingredients. Today is 1st of July and in two days we are leaving this small village of Eshkel and we are going to Izmir for three days and now I'm going to drop you some thoughts, my thoughts about this small village. The problem with communication in English is really tiring for me. Undoubtedly I get used to using Google Translator for basic stuff. I'm really looking forward to speaking with locals about their life, their thoughts, their worldview and it's impossible because of the language barrier. As I said, I'm here on my vacation. So, for example, for four hours we are on the beach and the, less, and the rest time I'm working. It's a problem for me that locals don't hurry. Like, I want to pay fast for my meal because I want to go to work, uh, finish as early as possible and go to the beach. Times we are waiting an hour for a breakfast, we are waiting for the waiter, we are waiting for the chef. What is the problem when you don't want to spend a lot of time on things like that? We are now again at the, how we can call it, the shell landfill or graveyard. The whole grave. And there is another one, so they have approximately, I think, 15 centimeters. To make this episode even more joyful, for the end, some frames of the Turkish nature during the golden hour. Enjoy! That's the end. I'm finishing my week here in Eshko. Thank you for watching. Really recommend you to see other episodes of my Turkish series. Bye, see you later.